Hi, I wanted to take you through a popularity recommendation engine that I built with Python and visualized in Power BI into a dashboard that mimics what you see on Amazon when you purchase something and you see the frequently bought together item list. I want to take you through the dashboard. I'll take you through the code and I'll show you how I implemented this in Power BI. So on the left side, we have like the add to cart section. And right now I have iPhone selected. You can see that the iPhone image is there. I brought that in using some um, web URLs. And then I have a section here that was built by the smart narrative. This kind of mimics where a item definition would be, but I didn't have the definitions and I didn't feel like writing them manually. Uh, right above it, it has some key metrics. So this would be the item selected. And then we want the frequently bought together item list with the iPhone. So we can see that the lightning charging cable was the number one item that was bought with this. And then we go down to wired headphones and then uh, iPods. And then you see two instances of batteries, which means that that is two different packs. So if we go to, let's say, the Google phone, we can also see that the USB charging cable was the number one thing bought, and then we see headphones. If we go up to, let's say, our full HD monitor, we can see what was bought with that. And then if we have, uh, let's say, our flat screen TV, we can also see the different things that were bought. So that is the recommendation engine that shows you what was bought with this particular item. So I'm going to take you through the code and then I'll show you how I implemented that in Power BI. So the first thing to do was to bring in the essential libraries that we were going to use. Pandas, which is used to manipulate the data, NumPy for any uh, linear algebra, Matplotlib, which I actually didn't use, but it's to visualize. Then Itertools is the main thing I use to create those different permutations of when an item was bought, what was bought with it, and what was the frequency of that. And then Collections and Counter is another way to actually count the grouping. Um, I didn't use it in the report, but I wanted to use it just in case. I'll take you through that. So the first thing I wanted to do was create a function that would find the pairs, find pairs, and list them in a column using A and B as the stand-in. So I, what I did is I, I created that function. What it's doing is saving something as pairs and it's creating a data frame based on the list of the permutations. And I have two, and you're just using the column A and B. And then it's going to return pairs. I loaded the data set in, saved it under data set, because this is the primary variable that's used in Power BI. Uh, read that in with uh, Pandas. And I just used December because I couldn't get it to run very well in Power BI if I used a lot of different months. And then like we're checking the head of the data set so you can see the data where we have the order ID, the product, the order quantity, the price, or when it was ordered and the purchase location. The first thing I did was create another variable called data set combo. I grouped this data by the order ID because I want it to see how many of these things were ordered. For example, if you see order ID here, this is the same order ID. And we can pair these things up and then get the frequency. And we got the paired and we got the pairs by applying the function and resetting the index here. And then you know that's going to give us a data frame based on what the function is saying here and then we get an a and b column and then i'm just looking at the head of that data frame so we can see a and b so we can see all the different permutations grouped up by the purchase so this would be one purchase this would be one purchase so this is our grouping so i want to calculate how often each item 
A occur with each item B, and we use that with the size function and grouping that. So all I did was group these together and then get the number of times they've been grouped. You can see that here. So we can see that A has been grouped with B, and then we get a number here. Most of these are ones, but then you can see 67. And we can see this is kind of uh, broken up like by a hierarchy. So I wanted to, again, reset the index. Then I wanted to make sure the columns were named with A, B, and size because I just wanted to add size to that. Then I sorted the values by this number and uh, descending order and we can see what the number one purchases were. For some reason, I got this product here, but I'm gonna drop that. But you can see the number one thing is the um, USB and the Google phone as the number one purchase together items there. And you can see the, the opposite permutation there also. So that's the same number. Then I wanted to clean this off, so I just put a mask here and said uh, drop the product. And I didn't want any rows to equal product. And this is the clean data set. And then this is what's going to get piped in into Power BI. Then I wanted to use combinations because I thought maybe I wanted to see the data grouped this way and to show like most frequent baskets instead of the permutations there. But that's just, I'll quickly take you through the code. I read in the data set again. I dropped any NAs. Then I used the grouping for order ID and then product and transform that and then join things with uh, Lambda. Then I just grouped these two and I dropped the duplicates and the outcome of that data frame would be the order ID and then this combination of grouping items and then ran a for loop and split these up and then counted them. So what I got back was a tuple and we still see the product thing here. This is an issue I got to take out, but we can see the Google phone and the combination with the USB, which is slightly different from the number we came up with here. And this was uh, something I found in Stack Overflow. I'll put the link there for you. Okay, so I use this set of code in Power BI. So let me go over to the Power BI. This is the report. If I go to transform data, and let me bring over Power Query. So I have the original data here, which we've seen. That was just mostly unaltered. Then I wanted to bring in something, the code into item pairs. And I brought that in and ran the Python code. And let me just show you what the code is. It might run, so hopefully not because it takes a while. So you can see I pretty much performed the same action. I brought in those essential libraries. I created the function. And then I ran that function here and then resaved it as data set and then expanded that. And then what we got was this pairing of orders. So I actually didn't bring in the, the addition of the size because I can actually just count these using Power BI. I created uh, keys here, which is just a unique. The first item is unique, so I could use it as a key. And then I brought in the second item, and then I just brought in the two prices, and I was going to use that to create my data model, which I will take you through. Here is the price of all of the things. So that was just a key for price. This is the key image for the first item A. So I brought in all those images and we needed to duplicate that for item B and I'll show you in a minute. And then item, what I did is just brought in item two 
and created a key there because we needed to link those tables together with a, a kind of bridge table that didn't have duplicates. So let me just close that and then go over to the data model. So here is the keys. This is what we're filtering everything by. So this is just all the only unique column here is the first item. And then you can see that's pretty much connecting all of that here to the price table. But I also needed not just the first item, I needed the second item also. And that's what this table is. So that connects everything to item two. And I connected that to the images. And that's how we're bringing the images into that report. And you can see how all that is laid out. So I will add this to uh, GitHub. Please, any questions, feel free to ask. Also, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And, and if you find this very useful, please share it. Thank you.